Preseason is really interesting in volleyball because, as you said, it's been two years, so we're trying to get as many reps as we can without them getting injured. So injuries play is going to play, has played a role in our preseason. We did have two different scrimmages uh, against uh, ranked and teams getting uh, votes for the top 25. And I think that our team proved that they're going to compete. Um, we're going to have to play really well to compete. And both times the kids seemed to take a step up from what they showed in practice. So I was pleasantly surprised um, how much fire we played with. Uh, so it's a matter of now the reps and the, and the um, coordination of the team playing together. Yeah. Playing Hopkins first, to me, they should be number one in the country. Uh, they're, they're ranked sixth, but they have gotten better. They returned both of their first team All-Americans are, are fifth year graduate students. So, uh, and they've got another graduate student who was an All-American as well. So they are going to be a great test, but it's the first match of the year. So it really gives us something to measure off of. And with us playing York and Eastern, our first two conference games, we need to play tough, some tough competitions. Therefore, the tough preseason schedule, tough, uh, and at Haverford, all four of those teams are good. They're not Hopkins, but they're good. And they're all going to be competitive matches uh, to try to get us battle-tested before we play those big conference matches. We, even our juniors, which of course it's the same for every school, they only have one year on the court if they started as freshmen. Thankfully, we do have a couple girls that did start some of the time as freshmen. Um, you know, we're, we're strong in the middle. You know, Sarah Straub, Haley Hoover, Darian Dilly are all have at least, or two of them are juniors. Darian's a sophomore, but they're strong. And I think any one of them could step up and have really big matches for us. Uh, we're still competing on the outsides to see who's going to start. Uh, we, do, we don't have much experience out there. Uh, setting uh mackenzie blevins is back but she didn't set her, soft, her freshman and sophomore year <laughs> and her junior year we didn't play so she's kind of new to that although she was recruited as a setter she played right side her first two years uh olivia simon uh michaela thompson uh are both competing we're not even sure what offense we're going to run right now so uh that's what all this preseason was about and you know our goal is to be playing our best volleyball at tournament time that's the goal to do as well as we can in the conference, get a good seed for the tournament, and then win the tournament. Well, offensively, we're going to have to take a lot of steps forward. Uh, you know, even though we did fairly well in the in the um, preseason scrimmages, we hit for a very low percentage. We're not putting the ball down the way we're going to need to put the ball down. Um, we're working a lot on passing and serving. I think that is the name of the game, uh, no matter what level. Um, I think all our games are going to be close <laughs> and, and very competitive. So our mental toughness and how we bounce back from a loss, uh, how we uh, start stacking wins are going to be super important as to how successful we are. I hope everybody comes out and <laughs> finally come out uh, and watch. We're a mess, but uh, you don't have to be socially distanced and we can have as many people in there as we wanted. So we need lots of noise and I know there's a lot of volleyball fans out there. Hopefully you'll come and watch us.